I am Dr. J. Suresh Kaur, Associate Professor in Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, our topic is Test of Hypothesis for Large Samples. Test of Hypothesis for Large Samples. Before going to discuss about this topic, we have to learn some basic concepts on Test of Hypothesis for Large Samples. What are the basic concepts? First, we have to know what is hypothesis. After that, we have to know what is test of hypothesis. Later, we have to know what is test of hypothesis for large samples. First, we have to know what is hypothesis. What is the meaning of hypothesis? Any statement, any statement about any parameter is known as hypothesis. The statement about any parameter is called hypothesis. Suppose if I take an example, majority of people in any city are smokers and drinkers. This is the one statement I have given. Regarding particular parameter. What is that parameter? Smoking and drinking. About this parameter smoking and drinking, I post a statement which is majority of the people in the city are smokers and drinkers. This is known as hypothesis because this is the statement about one particular parameter I passed. According to the definition of hypothesis, any type of statement about any type of parameter is called hypothesis. That's why this statement is known as hypothesis. If I consider another example, all the countries in the world are affected by coronavirus. All the countries in the world are affected by coronavirus. Here, this coronavirus is a particular parameter. What I done? I passed one statement. All the countries in the world are affected by coronavirus. It is a statement regarding the particular parameter coronavirus. That's why this statement is also known as known as hypothesis. So finally, what we are going to conclude? Any type of statement about any type of parameter is called hypothesis. Blindly we can remember that any statement is known as hypothesis. This is the first concept, first basic concept in test of hypothesis. After getting the concept of hypothesis, now we are going to discuss the concept of test of hypothesis. What is meant by test of hypothesis? As of now, we know what is hypothesis. What is test of this hypothesis? That means we are going to test the given hypothesis, which is known as test of hypothesis. We have to test the given hypothesis is known as test of hypothesis. That's why the decision making procedure to accept or reject the hypothesis. In example 192, I posted two statements. Are they acceptable? That we don't know. But in test of hypothesis, we have one procedure. To accept or reject the hypothesis is called test of hypothesis. We are going to use one procedure to accept or reject the statement. Any type of statement or a hypothesis is called test of hypothesis. I will explain you with example, what is the meaning of test of hypothesis? Suppose if I take the hypothesis, the same example I take in the majority of people in the city are smokers and drinkers. This is hypothesis we know that because it is a statement. Now, we have to follow a procedure. That procedure we'll discuss in the later slides. Now, we have to follow a procedure to accept or reject this statement. Which statement? This hypothesis statement. Then whatever the procedure we are going to discuss in the later slides, that procedure is called 
test of hypothesis. That means we are going to test either we are going to accept or reject the given statement or given hypothesis which is known as test of hypothesis. So in this slide we discussed what is hypothesis means just any statement is known as hypothesis. What is test of hypothesis? Whatever the hypothesis we have given, whatever the statement we have given, we are going to accept or reject that statement by using one procedure, which is known as test of hypothesis. In hypothesis, there are two types, null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis symbol H0 and alternative hypothesis symbol H1. What are they? What is the meaning of null hypothesis? And what is the meaning of alternative hypothesis? Simple. Whatever the statement I passed, whatever the statement I passed, which is hypothesis, these two types, these two types are just assumptions. Null and alternative hypothesis are just our assumptions. What are that assumptions? We are going to assume that whatever the statement I passed, which is true in null hypothesis. And in alternative hypothesis, whatever the statement I passed, which is false, that is hypothesis differs from the given null hypothesis. It is quietly differs from the given null hypothesis. I'll explain you with example, how we are going to get null hypothesis and how we are going to get alternative hypothesis. Suppose I'm going to pause the statement mu equal to 20. Actually, what is mu? Mu is total number of students. Students in a class. This is mu. I posted the statement. The total number of students in a classroom are 20 members. This statement I passed. Is it hypothesis? Yes, this is the hypothesis because any statement is known as hypothesis. That's why this is the hypothesis, mu equal to 20. How you write different types of hypothesis? We have two hypotheses I told you. One is null hypothesis and second one is alternative hypothesis. What is null hypothesis? Symbol H0, how to define? What is the meaning of null hypothesis? Whatever the statement is given, what statement you given? Mu equal to 20. Whatever the statement is given, we should assume that the statement is true. That's why mu equal to 2. This is our assumption only. Both two hypotheses, null and alternative hypothesis are just assumptions. And next alternative hypothesis, which is denoted by H1. How to define alternative hypothesis? We have to assume that the given statement is false. What is given statement mu equal to 20? The false statement is mu not equal to 20. Like this. So, null hypothesis, we have to assume the statement is true. And alternative as hypothesis, we have to assume that statement is false. Mu not equal to 20 means it may be mu greater than 20 or mu less than 20. All three cases are alternative hypothesis only. But each case we have some specialization. If mu not equal to 20, we can call as two tail test. Mu greater than 20, we can call as right tail test. And mu less than 20, we can call as left tail test. But all three are alternative hypothesis only. So like this, we have to split the given hypothesis into null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So these two hypotheses, again, I'm going to repeat that these two hypotheses are just our assumptions only, not exact values, just our assumptions only. Next, types of errors. Here also we have two types of errors, type one error, type two error. What is type 1 error? Reject H0 when it is true. Type 2 error, accept H0 when it is false. Reject H0. H0 means null hypothesis. We are rejecting null hypothesis even the statement is true, which is known as type 1 error. 
type 2 error accept null hypothesis even the statement is false i will explain you what is type 1 error what is type 2 error with example suppose see mu equal to 60 this is the original original strength of the class generally in a particular class we have 60 members this is the original strength now I am going to pass the statement mu equal to 60. This is a hypothesis. This is my statement. Hypothesis is my statement. This is the original statement. Now, if we solve by the procedure, this procedure will discuss in the later slides. In the conclusion, if I reject Reject this statement. Reject null hypothesis when it is true. Actually, statement is true. Na. What I taken the statement mu equal to 60. Original strength also 60. That means I taken true statement. Even though what I concluded, reject this statement when it is true. That means there is an error in the procedure. In our procedure, there is an error. That error is called type 1 error. Reject null hypothesis or reject the statement even the statement is true. Means there is an error in the procedure which is known as type 1 error. Type 2 error is also there in the reverse case. Suppose the total strength is 60. This is total strength but I take in the statement mu equal to 20 which is called hypothesis by using the procedure if I accept h naught actually I take in wrong statement because original strength is 60 even though I take in mu equal to 20 only the total strength is 20 only by using the procedure i proved that i concluded that accept the statement that means there is an error in the procedure that error is called as type 2 error even if i take the wrong statement if you conclude the statement is acceptable that means there is an error in the procedure that error is called type 2 error so that is the difference between Type 1 error and type 2 error. Type 1 error is reject H0 when it is true. Type 2 error is accept H0 when it is false. I think you understood clearly the difference between type 1 and type 2 errors. Now, what is that procedure? Always I am telling procedure, procedure, procedure. What is that procedure? We have five steps. Already two steps we discussed. Null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis. We are going to set up null hypothesis and set up alternative hypothesis. Set up means we are going to assume the statement is true in null hypothesis and we are going to assume the statement is false in the alternative hypothesis. These two are our assumptions only. Now step three, level of significance, alpha. Level of significance means how much Percentage you are telling that statement is true. That is called level of significance. This Z alpha value we can choose from Z distribution table. We will discuss later about Z distribution table in the next sessions. Now the test statistic Z equal to T minus E of T by S into E of T. And then mod Z. Here test of hypothesis for large samples we have four tests. For each test, the step 4 will be changed. For each test. Out of 4 tests, we have 4 different formulas in test statistic Z. After getting Z, we can find out mod Z. So, you got it mod Z value in step 4 and Z alpha value in step 3. By comparing these two, if it is less than, we can accept the null hypothesis. If it is greater than, we can reject null hypothesis. So these are the five steps we are going to follow when we are doing the test of hypothesis for any particular problem. Now, 
our topic is test of hypothesis for large samples what is mean by large sample what is sample actually first what is sample population we know the subset of sorry the collection of objects is known as population the part of the population is called sample the size of the sample is denoted by small n. suppose total college strength 1000 members total college strength 1000 and class strength 60 this 60 is subset of 1000 that means this is the sample of the population sample of college strength that's why the student strength in a classroom 60 members is a sample of student strength in the college exactly correct the student strength in a classroom is a part of the student strength in the college if you consider student strength in the college is a population obviously the student strength in the class is a sample of the population and this sample size denoted by small n in case if the sample size is greater than or equal to 30 30 more than 30 or equal to 30 such type of samples are known as large samples suppose sample size is less than 30 such type of samples are known as small samples right now only for large samples we are going to discuss test of hypothesis for large samples only large samples mean the sample size is greater than or equal to 30 right so this is the introduction before going to do the test of hypothesis for large samples what we have discussed in this session what is hypothesis what is test of hypothesis what are the types of hypothesis what are the types of errors and what is the procedure of test of hypothesis and how many types of samples so this is the introduction before going to do different type of test of hypothesis for large samples Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.